day. Sent in or right today we go check mail live. Random time. I've never done it on a Sunday afternoon, which would be why I'm dressed in a little less than Pidlin clothes. Anyway, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to American Piddler, where we take things that may not be easy because piddling ain't easy, and we make them look easy. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Let's get after it. So, here's what we're going to do. Forge is here. He's, hey, brother. Hey, Anson. How are you, brother? Hey, for all you that watch this afterwards, go check out Anson Three Ivy people. at Ivy Forge. He just joined. I'm sure you can find Four. him in the comments. <clears throat> okay? We got stickers. We got Bye. stickers coming out the yin yang. I don't know that you can put stickers on a PO box. I don't know what's going to happen. Mom said hello. Tell m your mother I said hello. Hi, babe. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm taking one one of my stickers and I'm putting it on the PO box today. Ivy Forge said, oh my gosh. I haven't seen my gift yet, lol. You haven't? Dude, it's in the mail. Anyway. Emily. I know. Oh, and uh, there's a special young lady named Emily, and I don't have the letter with me. But she made me a beautiful flag, and I'll have it hanging in the shop next time we get out to the shop. Okay? Next week, guys, uh, tune in. Miss Marcia said howdy, and then, oh, dang it, I missed the other one. There's okay. eight people and two lights. That's freaking great. This is good. We got a good, 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 good crowd. Okay, next week, listen, I'm talking, okay? Next week, uh, tune in. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit the bell so that you don't miss it. But in next week's episode of American Fiddler, I'm giving a set of plug phones away. I got them in the mailbox. I forgot to grab them and show them in this video. That was my whole plan was to do that. Okay. So plug phones reached out to me and gave me a brand new set of the, uh, the wireless earbuds for me to give to one of you guys. Okay. So next week we'll have all the details how you can actually win a set of plug phones. Keep telling me what they're saying. Uh, well... Ivy Forge said, I'm sending you a hammer, brother, but what? it's still sitting in the front by the front door. Hey, that's okay. Dude, that's that's awesome. That is that's that's really special. And anyway. then Mike Gunnels, yep. Ministries Inc. said my letter is in there. And he said Well, uh, I'm excited we were gonna find it. We're we're only just a couple minutes away, so we're on our way. Listen, and by the way, I don't know if you guys watch NASCAR or you don't. But I watched the truck race the other night. And they tore every panel off every one of them. If I ever get a chance, I think I could show them guys how to drive. I'm just saying. I'm in a, a, a Chevrolet right now, but I, I could drive one of the new Mustangs I got running around that track. Maybe the channel gets big enough. That's what we'll, American Fiddler will sponsor one. I'll go show them guys how to drive. Hit the like button if you think I can outdrive one of them jokers. I've seen them tear the panels off of everything. Anybody commenting? Uh, uh, Miss Marcia said we love you guys, and she we said, love you guys. And you're a sweet girl. Hi, Em. Hi, Miss Marcia. And the mom said NASCAR. I think you said something wrong. NASCAR. Yeah, I think you said something. It's, wrong. I think it's the Monster Energy. But listen, if you're like me, okay, NASCAR's freaking wins the cup. Okay, that's what NASCAR is supposed to be—the wins the cup. But no, we can't talk about Winston because that's a cigarette. Oh, I so. Forge doesn't have cable. No, you don't. Hey, you don't have to have cable for today's race. It's on Fox. Yeah, are you? I see the camera moving, so you got to pay attention, butterfly. Okay. Anyway, it's on Fox, so you can watch it like on regular TV. Like even if you have an antenna, which we did that for a long time. We just had an antenna. Man, I'm I'm excited. We are at the post office. Like I gotta get through this red light. Show me red. Light. Show me. Red light. Oh yeah. Here we are. Beautiful Waynesville, Ohio. Oh, I know I could outdrive them. There ain't no doubt. Man, what are all these people doing down here in the way? Let's see. Let's show them what. There's, <coughs> there's where we're going. Well, we always come at night, Jim, Dad. I know. They've never. I don't know if we've been down here during the daylight. Waynesville's so busy, you can do U-turns right in the middle of the day. By the way, look at this cute little post office. Here we are. Okay, grab our stickers. Can you hold it for me? Let's go in here. Come on. Come on, show show them what we're working with. Right? Here we are at our little this is where I put fan mail when I send it out, right? I take it. 
Thank you for watching. That's to our friends Jeff and Christy. Christy, we're praying for you. I hope you get to see this. All right. Here we are. Here we are. Now that counts, look, that counts kind of like a sticker, right? Like that's somebody put a sticker on there. So why can't we take our sticker? P.O. Box 676, Waynesville, Ohio, 45068. Right? Like, this is where a sticker belongs. Nine people. Nine people are watching. Just before the Great American Race. What, what better day to watch American Piddler than on the day we have the Great American Race? I don't, I really don't know how... Uh, we may find a letter in here from the post office next time we come back. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, we got we got mail. Now, don't get too close. Remember, I don't want to give anybody's address away when they got return labels. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four things. Let's see what we got. That's it. Show them back in there. I don't know what that is, like the sound is, dude, that looks great. Let's, let's look, let's look, let's see. I mean, this is what our post office, oh, the little piddler. This is what our post office looks like. And then there's the stick. I like it, guys. I like it. Let's go over to our, uh, our little spot. Oh, I don't even have, oh, yeah, okay, got my pocket knife. Let's see what we're working with. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cedar Ford, again, put something in the mailbox. Uh -oh. So, go check him out on Instagram, at Cedar Ford. C-E-D-A-R-F-O-R-D. Last time he sent us glitter, and I couldn't figure out the word glitter. Oh, kind of ran off. Don't... Oh, you can show his. P.O. Box 454, Pennsylvania, Cedar Ford. We have the P.O. Boxes we can show. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Hey, you know, show me. You know how we normally do like a, an unboxing and then I just throw stuff? I think we can do that in the post office, don't you? Uh oh. Uh -oh. There, there you go. Go following at Cedar Ford. Look at that. The blacksmithspub.com podcast. That is a serious sticker. I like it. Thank you, Cedar. Go put that on the PO box. <laughs> I, I would if it was big enough. Maybe if we get we get we get bigger, we can get a bigger PO box and we can just cover it with stickers. But I don't I really don't know that my sticker's gonna last on there. See who it's from. Uh oh. Sixth Street, Waynesville, Ohio. Now that's crazy. Look, I'll just show you this part. Waynesville, Ohio. To Waynesville, Ohio. That's getting pretty close now. We've got a local fan. Uh oh, let's see. Uh, oh, look at this. This is cool. So this is a, a ham radio, if you guys know what that is. This is their call sign. That's that's a really nice card. Um, so Doug, his last name's Cunts, and that's his call sign. KB8MRC, King Boy 8, Mary Robert Charles. Love the videos. Thanks, Doug. Man, you're like, you're a neighbor. You're close. Let's see what we got. Let's see what it says. Saw your YouTube video. Here is the QSL card for your shop. I'm a ham radio operator and we send these cards when a contact is made. These are sent for confirmation and getting, um, I think that says awards. So there is a piece of fan mail. Take care, Doug. Don't mention my address. Right, I know that. If you talk about the card in one of your videos. So there's that. No, I would never. You said Coots. Coons. Andy Ford said okay. thing. 
pretty well, cute. I wouldn't ever. Uh oh, self-addressed stamped envelope. Watch this. See that? Going back to Waynesville, Ohio. Self-addressed stamped envelope. Are you really gonna film that? I right. Doug, let's go do it. Let's go do it. Come on. It's it's small town Ohio. We left our car running too. That's freaking great. Hey, Doug's self addressed stamped envelope. Gone. Let's go. Hey, we're killing it today. Okay. Another one from Pennsylvania. Feels stiff. Oh my gosh. I gotta cover this up, but I like the stamp. I mean, it's a Mr. Rogers stamp. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's like, that's good stuff. Mr. Rogers and the Daytona 500. Come on now. So, I know you guys seen I did the Daytona 500 thing. First of all, oh, I know exactly what this is. Oh, this is cool. This is from a maker. Okay? And so makers are kind of like me, but they're actually more handy than I am. They make stuff all the time. Look at this. Slap stuff together. They're a husband and wife team. They like to slap stuff together and make stuff. Look at that. Two cool stickers. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Shoo. Shoo. Dude, thank you for the swap. Enjoy your content. And your sweet baby boy, his little saw is perfect. Hope this note finds you well. Keep killing it. Heidi, Ben, and Carver. Heidi, Ben, and Carver. You keep slapping stuff together, and I'll just keep on piddling. Thank you very much. There's that. Got one more. Uh-oh. It's, uh, it's Mike. It's from West Virginia. He's on the live feed. There he was. Mike, you still there? Did he say anything? Did he say anything? He may have left. He probably... There's ten, though. There's nine. We got, we got ten or nine? Nine now. Okay, listen, if you guys want to be a part of this, all you got to do, P.O. Box 676, Waynesville, Ohio. Let's see what it says. All right, we'll turn this over so we don't give away addresses, right? Hello, American Piddler. Mike's still here. My name is Reverend Mike. I really like your videos, and I'm just now getting into blacksmithing. So questions I can't really seem to get. Um, a how of lining the forge ordeal. I see people using kitty litter clay. Okay. Kitty litter clay mortar. Where were we at? I'm sorry. Um, and an ash mix. Then I see them using straw, sand, blah, blah, blah. I pray you didn't get too upset over me. Drilling you over your tea and your burner. No, not at all. Thanks, Reverend Mike. Keep on pendling. I finally made it in the mail. You not only finally made it in the mail, Mike, you've made it on the big screen, right? Because if I go home, I can pull this up and it can be on my 60-inch TV. Although my wife sees me enough, so she didn't really like that much. Mike, listen. Um, my very first video on this channel is um, a how-to. I use a wool and um like a cement okay you can watch how i did that through that process but what you should also do is find my five gallon bucket forge so we literally myself and a guy um, named bryden of bk blacksmith okay so i drove up to uh northern ohio where he's at and uh we talked about it and i took a burner that i built and put it inside of a five gallon plastic bucket and the way we lined it, it uh, it was good enough that you could use it anything. So that video really tells you how to do it the right way, the proper way. Uh, Bryden is a great source of information. So check him out, BK Blacksmith. Um, you can find him on the, the Blacksmith's forums on Facebook. Uh, the same thing, uh, he's on Instagram at BK Blacksmith. Uh, I think who we actually used um, to get our supplies, they may be out of business now, but it doesn't mean that you can't still get those same exact supplies. And I don't have the uh, the build sheet right off the top of my head, so I don't want to tell you exactly what to use there, but you can find all that information 
on what I used um, that's still in my little propane forge that I built. Uh, and you can find that in the very first video of this channel, the second video. They're kind of hard to watch. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But, Mike, I no worries on any questions you have. That's what I try to do. I, I want to make this a um, source where I can help people. You know what I mean? Uh, first of all, the fact that you're a reverend, that's pretty helpful. Uh, you're giving people the, the truth about that uh, Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. So that's pretty special. And for a guy like me, uh, you can't find anything more important than giving that out. So uh, anyway, guys, look, I got some cool, cool He pictures. said, thanks for the info, brother, but how long has it lasted you? Uh, it's still going. So it's been over a year, and that, that still works. And then he said, amen. <laughs> At Cedar Ford, go check them out, okay? Slap stuff together. Go check them out. Amateur radio. I like it. Go check him out. Okay? God bless you. Thanks for watching. And keep on.